Okay guys, this is Sen from Eisen Gaming. welcome to the stream. Today we'll play uh, House Flipper. This is probably the most relaxed game I've ever played. This is so chill, uh, it's perfect for a Friday afternoon to, to uh, ease into the weekend and uh, have a, just have a good time. <clears throat> this is a game about renovating things. Um, you're actually a one-man or one-woman um, renovation crew. You can do um, electricity stuff, electrician stuff, you can do uh, painting, um, carpentry, all that nice stuff. So you're one person which makes um, dream homes out of complete messes. So this is um, a house I recently bought. Um, it was a complete mess. I started renovating it, uh, so the outside is kind of finished. Um, but we're still working on the inside. So today we're gonna have a look at what we can do uh, on the inside of uh, inside of the house. This is actually the office, which is kind of finished. It needs a bit of more uh, more decoration. It needs a bit more warmth. Um, but this is my office. Let's say the the uh, the office space. This is plaster. Now let's close the door and uh, let's make sure we do the plastering before we do anything else. I think these walls need plastering. So before you can actually paint them, uh, if they have holes, if they're not even, you need to um, you need to plaster them before you can paint them. And the game will tell you. Uh, press E, then click on the plaster bucket to get some onto the uh, device, and then go on and uh, do the plastering. So most of these uh, things that we do around the house need a bit of time. I have around five or six hours in the game, so I've I have actually leveled up a few of the a few of the skills. So I'm probably a bit faster in doing the plastering that you will be if you begin the game, if you do a fresh start at, uh, at the game. Okay, one more or two more. And we should be fine. So we go, we press tab, go to the um, our uh, little tablet and um, go for a white. White walls, yes, that looks like paint. By many, I think we will probably need three buckets to do the whole thing. And then let's um, go to the um, Selection wheel by pressing and holding the right mouse button, then go to painting and start painting. So let's start here. Oh, we need to get some um, paint on the roller, actually. You do this by um, clicking and holding over the, um, over the bucket. And you see it drains, actually, it drains. It uses up paint, it drains the paint. And so for a full, for a full room, you will need uh, quite a few buckets. By the way, this is not the standard speed in painting. I am, I'm, I think I've fully maxed out the speed with which I paint the walls. So usually it takes longer, but you can level it up pretty quickly. I'm, I'm, as I said, I've got six hours in the game and already I'm at max uh, painting speed, so to say. All right, don't forget to paint the um, areas up here as, as well they are actually white already so you won't notice the uh, a big difference if you would paint if you'd use another another uh, color it would be uh, more obvious but where you have where you applied the plaster down here you will definitely need the um the paint over but i find the music extremely relaxing it kind of fits the theme but this is just one one task you need to do around the house as i mentioned you're a one man or one woman renovation crew you do everything in this game including cleaning up and uh, oh, now it's actually empty so we can dispose of it get back to painting load up the roller and then go about painting the walls again it's actually really satisfying to see the uh the house in its state when you buy it, so it's usually in a desolate, rundown state, and then um, 
gradually um, it it, uh, it looks really amazing when you clean it up when you when you paint the walls when you do the flooring or just when you when you um, fix things around the place and the idea of the game is is actually there's two main things you can do in the game one thing is you can uh, take on jobs which you get by email uh, you have a notebook in the game which uh, has an email program on it and you can then select contracts by opening and accepting the emails that uh, are on the on the laptop or the notebook. The other thing is you can buy houses and they're in uh, usually in a, in a very bad rundown state. You can then, let's say, um, renovate them, um, fit them, um, put in furniture, all this kind of nice stuff, decorate it inside and outside, um, and then sell it for a profit and then go for the next bigger house, stuff like that. Um, actually, one thing I need to mention is I have bought the Gardening extension as well. So this is the what I'm currently playing is the main game plus the gardening extension. Actually, this is empty, so let's dispose of it. Oh no, that's the wrong pool. Okay, one more, and then we're actually done. Now let's clean up the floor. Let's see that we have a clean floor before we go about um, doing... Let's go to the uh, tablet, go for floors, and let's see, um, I think it's further down. Low panel brown, that might be nice. I think it was actual an uh, actual wood, oh, but I'm not quite sure. Low panel dark, I think that was it. Yeah, that looks nice. By many. And then you actually just um, drag a rectangle of where you want to place that, uh, place the tiles. Okay, so let's continue down here. The controls in the game are actually quite well well done. They're, they're well, um, they're fluid. Let's say it's it's easy to uh, to get things done pretty pretty quickly. So let's do that. Let's take out the screw, take away the, uh, the cover, unscrew both of these, take away the setup, then uh, connect up the wiring and fasten the screws. And we're good to uh, set the screws again, put the cover, fasten the middle screw, and that's it. That was how you fix um, the socket, really. Things. So let's see, we need a radiator to fasten to the wall. Then let's do it on the window. Well, let's assemble it, let's put it in place, fasten the uh, Fasten this element to the uh, piping, open it up, and there we go. So and um, let's see whether we can, that's a night lamp, I want a bigger one. Floor ramp, floor lamp, two brace, that's nice. So let's this one, let's take this one. Place it, ah, you can turn it on separately. Okay, that's not what I wanted. But anyway... Why not? Why not have it anyway? I need it. We can do indirect lighting, by the way, in this in this room. Why not? Let's let's sell this. Now let's do another one. Uh, let's do the same kind. In the in these corners, which should actually look fairly nice. Oops, sorry, fairly nice. Let's do that. Let's see, wall or something. This is actually. Uh, an interesting mechanic. You just clean the wall, uh, clean the window by uh, running uh, this instrument in a kind of linear fashion around the window, and at some point it says, "Okay, it's clean." There we go. 
So this is the um, this is the bedroom. It's actually quite small, so I'm not quite sure if I can fit a lot of furniture in here. But the idea, of course, the, the 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 most important thing is a bed. So let's go for um, furniture, beds, and let's do a really nice ornated kind of double bed. This looks comfy. This is one. Let's 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 give it a try. Let's look. Ooh, that looks nice. I actually like it. And also the colors for the. Uh, ooh, that's huge. Actually fills out fills out the whole space. Okay, I admit that's huge. And also, it's probably not the smartest move to have the radiator there, but I cannot change it since the uh, the uh, the fittings and the the piping is back there. But it does look nice, and actually, we don't have to do much else in here, so I kind of stick with it. But let's also make sure that we have kind of a, a bad side covered. I think there there are some. Or a bad side table. Let's let's actually check for. Uh... Bad side. Okay, I think it should be square. That might work. Yeah, let's give it a try. Um, I think this this would work. Okay, this is really really modern. I think that works. The, the color is not perfect, but let's let's leave it for now. It's actually cool. Or we just do one. I think it would fit there anyways. So uh, we need a bedside lamp uh, and a few, a little bit of decoration in here. It's 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 a bit barren right now. Let's go for lamps. Standing. Okay. Why not go for this one right there? That well, kind of looks nice. The sheets are really nicely done. Look, look at this. Make the bed. It was actually better when it when 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 it was not made. Can I undo that? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I can't. Yeah, but that looks that looks quite nice. So we need a bit of uh, we need a rock, I think, down here. We need a rock. Let's see what we have. Uh, a not long Halloween. No, 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 no. Let's see whether we can go with uh, ooh. No, 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 that doesn't work. The size was okay, but blue works, per oh, that, that works actually. Okay, that kind of works. Now we need some paintings on the wall, we need decoration in here. We might need a full-length mirror as well, so let's see whether we can do an, an Aztec. That's actually cool, but I think it's too big for the room. Oh. Hmm. It's probably very inconvenient there, but kind of looks okay. Uh, let's go for pictures. We definitely need something on the walls there. Now, uh, in the office, I have this kind of oceany beach theme. Let's see what else we have. We can do um, Cathedral in Bristol. I would like to have a wide one, really. Like a. Um, or two tall ones would work. 
but I would prefer to have a white one. Let's let's have a look at, uh, or we can continue. We can continue the um, ocean theme. No, we already have that in the office. We don't have. We don't want that twice. Oh, that's actually quite small. I wanted to have something big. I'm not quite sure if there's pictures and paintings. If there is a uh, bigger. Oh, that's that's nice. Looks like a window, but it doesn't. Okay, I just need to be closer to the wall. Okay, this is a really cool room for art color wise. But um, as usual, I'm inclined to paint one of the walls, but I think I'll refrain from it for now and just let it sink in for a bit. I think we want to do a gazebo. Construction. Let's do this nice um, mini gazebo. Let's do a dark one on the roof. Now let's do a actually a grey roof. Let's buy it. Let's place it in the back. In the back of the garden. Okay, let's assemble it. Let's see how this works. Okay. Okay. There we go. Place it. There we go. Place the roof. Let's. Tighten the screws. By the way, by the way, every object is is assembled slightly differently. There are similarities. For example, the, if you click a screw, it it's tightening it. But every object seems to have its own instructions to assemble it. Let's say, which is quite interesting. In the beginning, um, it is kind of. Um, you need to learn it. Um, in the beginning, you, you don't know how to go um, go at it, but at the end, it's kind of fun, and you know how to how to deal with this kind of stuff. Okay, this is really nice. I like it. Look, there we go. Well, okay, this is really a tight space, but it looks cool. I kind of like it. Now let's fit some flowers or some uh, creation. Oh, nice. Grills and fire pits. Ooh, that's cool. Of course, we need a, a pizza stove. But I'll probably lay out some uh, some brickwork be be below the uh, the oven. Oh, there's so many things. Okay, but we need to make sure that we have a bit of. A bit of decoration up there as well. That's too small. It's almost getting lost on the uh, on the large table. Let's take a stone pot, a large one. Yeah, why not? Let's make it cozy. Let's let's put some um, nice little potted plants more close. No, that's not working. But something a bit bigger. Lorputum. That looks good. Oh, that looks nice. I think I'll lose that one and take another Loroputum. I think the symmetric 
approach works better here. Well, I'm not sure, but... 